Welcome to the National Arts Council. We're an agency of the Department of Arts and Culture. This video is going to help you go through the application process to make sure you don't make any mistakes. Remember, before you even apply, you need to note the following. The NAC is interested in applications that seek to promote social cohesion and nation building, innovation design and creation, capacity building and strategic initiatives, as well as arts platforms, exhibitions or festivals. Please check out our website to get a full list of the items that we cover for funding under the above themes. The minimum amount for funding that can be requested is 100,000 Rand, while the maximum that can be applied for is 500,000 Rand. Remember, this is just one avenue of funding that's available here at the NAC. Others include bursary funding as well as organizational funding for three years. First, you need to register as a user on https colon forward slash forward slash nac.praxisgms.co.za forward slash. This will require your name, surname, email address, and the answer to the on-screen question. After you've registered, an email will be sent to you containing your username and password. Your username is your email and you can change your password to something that's easier for you to remember. Once you're in the system, you're going to click on the green plus button to create a new application, either as an individual or as an organization. The application is going to require your project title, organization or individual name, the discipline, sub-discipline and project focus. After these fields are filled in, you will then get an email notification with your unique project number and name. Save this form you're working on and exit. Then when you log back in, you will see the project on your screen and you can edit it until you're ready to submit. You edit the project by clicking the magnifying glass icon on the screen. All applications have five sections. Applicant details, project details, project activities, the budget and uploads. You have the option to either use the next button at the bottom or click on the tab at the top to move between pages. While you're filling in these sections and uploading supporting documents, you'll need to remember to check the terms and conditions, validate your form to make sure all is correctly filled in, save your information and then submit. As you fill in the details, remember all the fields that are marked with an asterisk are mandatory. Under the organizational details, we'd like to know about your management structure. Information about your project head, finance head and management need to be filled in. Add their names, contact and ID numbers and position in the sections that are applicable. If you've made a mistake, then you can click on the red X and re-enter the information. We also need to know how many people work for the organization by race and gender. Remember to save your work. If you're working under an individual application, you'll need to fill in your details and not those of an organization. The Project Details tab requires you to motivate for your project by answering all the text boxes and providing information about when the project will start and end, who it will impact, who the beneficiaries are and other questions like that. You've got to be direct about the number of beneficiaries by race, gender and disability status. Remember to save your work. We will come back to the indirect beneficiaries question. Then the Project Activities tab will be where you describe anything that will be going on in your project. You'll also need to fill in the names, contact and ID numbers of every person involved in the project team. Once you know what activities you have during the project, you will then be able to see who the indirect beneficiaries are. Save your work on this tab and then go back to the previous one in order to complete that section. If your project is meant to teach 40 school children how to put on a puppet show from costuming right through to direction and acting, then those children will be your direct beneficiaries, but the other schools around them, their families, the local arts clubs, would then be indirect beneficiaries. In the budget tab, you've got to remember to fill this in as carefully as possible. You may complete the entire cost of the project, but request a certain portion from the NAC. Or you could request the whole project funding from us. But remember, your project funding limit is 500,000 Rand. You'll also be required to fill in other sources of income if you have them on this tab. If you've received funding from the NAC before, you will need to disclose that on this section. Failure to do so will jeopardize your application as this will be viewed as dishonesty. If you're applying to other institutions for funding, please fill in the institution name, their contact details, the status of the application and the date you applied. Finally, you'll have the Uploads tab. This will be the tab where you upload your tax clearance documents, ID certified copies, quotations and other applicable documents. Remember to choose the file first and then upload your document and it can't be more than 10 megabytes. 
Once you've successfully uploaded the documents, you'll be shown the name of the file as a blue hyperlink, with the option to delete it right next to it. Once you've completed all the tabs and are ready to submit the whole application with uploads, click on the Validate tab just to check what's missing. Go back to everything correctly and fill it in and then submit your application. Once the application is submitted, you will receive an email confirming this. If not, you'll be able to log in and check the status of the application, whether it's in process or under review. If you have any questions for us during the application process, please don't hesitate to forward these to info at nac.org.za as well as on the discussion board to the right of your screen.